Shout out to all my inner lights out there. It's Junis. You're now tuning to the star in you. Thank you for being here with me at the moment. Please subscribe, like the page, and share with others. Hope all y'all doing your best out there and being blessed out there. Sincerely. You know, today we're going to talk about two dynamic duos, you know, who are very lyrical together. You know, and also a couple. And you know, these two people, like, they have a cool energy about them and they stand out a lot in hip hop and it's always talked about. We're going to be talking about Remy Ma and Pat Poose. You know, shout out to the both of them, you know. Just felt this intuitive energy come over me to you know, talk about them. So, we're going to get into that. Pat Poose. He was born March 5th, 1978. This makes him a Pisces. He's a water sign. Remy Ma. She was born May 30th, 1980. She's a Gemini, and that makes her an air sign. With Pat being a water sign, he's gonna be compatible with other water signs, like Scorpio and Pisces. And with the earth signs, he's gonna be compatible with Capricorns, Virgos, and Taurus. And Remy Ma, you know, she's gonna be compatible with air signs and fire signs. For the air signs, it's gonna be, you know, Aquarius and Libra. And for fire, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leos. All dependent on the placements. But if you check out these two elements, you're like, oh no, it's a, it's a no-go. <laughs> you know, one being water and the other being air. But however, they have other components, you know, I do put them together where they can mesh well. And you know, one thing that I see with the two of them that stands out, you know, Pat being a Pisces and Remy being a Gemini, is that they're mutable signs. And mutable signs, one thing I always say, you know, they have a lot of versatility. You know, the two of them individually, you know, they're very flexible as an individual. They know how to work well with other people, other signs. You know, they rough a lot of feathers, you know. They like to play middleman a lot, actually. Another thing that they have in common, too, with this mutable attribute is that they're very generous, too. You know, most of the mutable signs, like Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, there's one, th there's one quality you're going to see about them that's very positive. And I bet you they share this a lot, you know. And they show this generosity to their families, their friends, whoever, you know, cross their path. You know, when it comes to mutable sign, one thing I always say, you know, when it comes to them spitting, that versatility, you know, they just have mad bars, <laughs> just know how to spit. So that's one thing you're gonna see with Pat Poos and Remy Ma, you know, they're just gonna know how to switch it up all the time. You see both of them really great writers, you know, they switch it up, it's not predictable. And that's what you're gonna see with mutable signs. And both of them being mutable signs, they come each other in that dynamic. So that's what I'm saying, you know, they just have a lot to talk about. <laughs> I'm assuming, you know, from the hip hop world, and then having, uh, you know, growing up within the same era too, doing it. You know, another thing too to check out with Pat Poos and Remy Ma that also keep them close and tight is with Ray Ma, you know, her being born in May and not June, though she's a Gemini. This keeps the relationship solid too. With Pat Poos, you know, being born a Pisces. Go Pisces and her being born in May, she has some of that Taurus energy to her. Though she's born off the cusp. But however, she just has that quality. With her being born the fifth month. Which also comments his fifth, with him being born the fifth. But before we get into that though, you see this quality of that earth, water-like quality, you know, the water nourishing the earth, you know, making it very comfortable for Ray Ma, whatever she, whatever she goes through, you know, he's right there by his side. Especially if him being born a Pisces, you know, Pisces being the planet, being the king of all kings at a zodiac, so with that being in mind, he's going to be very protective, very nurturing, family-oriented, you know, he won't let go. Especially if his opposition being Virgo, you know, Virgos are very loyal, so he with this energy too. So, you know, one thing that you're gonna see with Ray Ma, that's the thing she's gonna like a lot about Papoose, you know, is loyalty. She's gonna love that a lot about him, actually. Cause you know, Taurus and native Taurus themselves, though she's not Taurus, but has that energy about them. They're very loyal, you know, they can be very dedicated to the one that's dedicated and by their side. And you know, Papoose definitely by his side, and you see how he held her down for so many years when she was incarcerated. And you know, speaking about her being away for so many years, the one thing that man contribute to that, you know, when you see the number dynamic, you see she's born on the 30th and Pat Poots on the 5th. 
when you combine this esoterically, it breaks down to a 35, but then an 8. And you know, I always talk about the number 8, how it brings a lot of suffering and pain, you know, solitude. So, this is something that may contribute to it within a past karma. And you know, I always talk about that dynamic with the 8 dynamic, you know, it relating to Capricorn, Capricorn going through a lot of suffering in their lifetime, especially dealing with family. As you can see in this occasion, their family, their bond. And you see there's a little split there, so they have to go through something, a uh, lesson. And you see that 4 and 4 dynamic, or that, the 8 dynamic, I should say, with Jay-Z and Beyonce, who were both born on the 4th. And when that adds up, it adds to an 8 as well. And you see they went through a little rough time too. So this is just something to pay attention to. It's something to see with Remy Ma and Papoose, as well with that 8 dynamic with the 30 and 5 vibration. And with that 30 and 5 vibration, you know that 5 being ruled by air and 3 ruled by fire, both mean travelers, both those numbers. You see that, you know, she has to like go away, pretty much travel away and be somewhere very separate, remote. So it's something also to pay attention to as well. You know, when I talk about the number eight, and I talk about suffering, you know, there's plenty of people and artists that talk about, like Kanye West, you know, who lost his mom, uh, Takashi 69 lost his father, or Bruno Mars, you know, they all lost him like very painfully in a very shocking way. So with this number eight, and you see with R. Kelly, you know, the dynamics he's been through, and he's born the eighth as well. This number eight has a lot of darkness to it, and you gotta go through a lot in order to change, but at the end, there is a light. Because at the end of the day, the eight always has a justice, justice aspect to it as well. So Pat Poos and Remy Ma, you know, they went through a lot, but you know, they stayed faithful, very loyal within the relationship, within the marriage, and at the end, you know, they're coming out winning. And you know, that's what the eight, you know, horizontally, you see, it looks like the Perfect. infinite symbol, Perfect. so that's what you're gonna get at the end. And if you succeed, you know, infinity of just gratitude and admiration and just appreciating life after everything you've been through and just triumph over. And I just see it from a bird's eye view, I guess, or eagle view. And you just keep humble and keep moving. And also, before I go, just wanna say one more thing, just to add on to that real quick. If you look at the number 30, which breaks down to a three with Remy Ma, her being born that date and Pat Poos the fifth, you see that that number three is actually ruled by fire and number five air. So these two elements are really compatible with each other, being in opposition within the zodiac signs, if you, you know, get the clue right there. <laughs> but with this dynamic being together, this will help them as a couple, you know, they'll complement each other, they'll know how to talk things out, if they're to ever get into arguments and, you know, where you are, you know, being born in May with that three dynamic being fired up, like if she, you know, the, the bull within that symbol could like strike within her internally and sometimes be expressed. So with Pat being a Pisces and Pisces are more tame, more calm, you know, though they have that ruggedness, but within relationships, they're pretty chill. So he definitely knows how to like, you know, talk his way out of the situation where it won't get too crazy. So just something else to point out too, which also compliments them with their birthday and everything together. Thank you guys for tuning into the star on you. It's your boy Junis. I'm glad I did that uh, little recording today. Definitely could have done a lot more, or added a lot more information, but I just wanted to keep it short, you know, for now, for a little information to digest, you know, and to be entertained by as well. So, you know, shout out to my and the lights out there, you know. Thank you once again for tuning to the star and you. Be blessed, do your best out there. And remember always, let your inner light shine.